Hey guys, welcome to my video on my first ever gravel event as a downhill mountain biker. I recently broken my collarbone and I've been riding for over 10 years now and this is definitely out of my comfort zone. So the gravel event is based in Scotland and it's hosted by Canyon and it's going to be super sick. I asked Canyon if I could have a training bike as I couldn't ride uh, mountain bikes properly for a while. So when they lent me the gravel bike, I was asked if I wanted to do a gravel event and I was like, hell yeah, I want to do something. I was stuck in the house for ages. So yeah, this is me driving up to the event. Um, it was quite far for me as I live in Wales, but definitely worth it. Canyon lent me a massive four-man tent and I was really grateful but unfortunately it was broken so at least I brought a spare tent with me. The event is held in Galloway Forest Park in southwest Scotland. It was absolutely beautiful and we were pretty blessed with weather there. They also lent me an inflatable mattress which I was super grateful for because I couldn't sleep very comfortably with the broken collarbone. Uh, I could still ride but like yeah, I wasn't really comfortable with like pushing myself too hard, so gravel it is. Hi, can I sign on? Yes, absolutely, yes. So please find your name. Uh, yes. Oh. You're number 121. Thank you. After that, I went on to sign on and I got my number boards and my wristband and also a free goodie bag. This is probably the best goodie bag I've ever had at a cycling event. Uh, it had a water bottle, a canyon buff, tire levers, tire patches, funky socks, little jam, sweets, and high five hydration shakes. And it was what I lived off for the whole weekend. Then we had the evening social ride and I've never ridden in a road group before. And I think I did everything wrong. I was cutting people up going on off the road it was pretty I felt so awkward because I was just felt like I wasn't really used to this kind of group It was quite a short loop but it took us to the beach where we met a ranger who talked about the history and the geography of the landscape and it was very interesting and we got to have some marshmallows and s'mores and I got to meet so many cool people. I'm riding the Canyon Grail 7 ETAP in carbon and I've never had electronic brakes before, it was so cool. And here we go, we started off at stage one, which is called the Granok, and it is 73.5 kilometers long, and it roughly took me about four and a half hours to do. It wasn't very fast, but man, I was trying my best. We were supposed to do a gradual start, which meant like everyone would start off in the group, and once we got to a certain point, the lead car would like drive away, and then we could properly start the race. But as soon as I started, I realized nobody was doing it chill. They were all sprinting off to the lead car, and I was like, oh no, I'm getting dropped already. I think I pissed some people off already. I, 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 think, I, I, I think I undertook some people. I don't think it's a I really enjoyed one of the descents and we managed to do it twice over the weekend and it was just really nice and fast and quite rough. It wasn't great on the collarbone but it was just super fun.
so many people got punches on this descent. It was so funny to see and luckily I had some really nice beefy shoulder gravel tires. Also I pumped my tires up really hard because I knew I would need the pressure for all the climbing we had to do. We had quite a bit of rain on stage one and it wasn't too bad because I was sweating my ass off so I was really glad for the rain and luckily it didn't rain for the rest of the days. So well, thank you. Yeah, it's great because I would have got off. <laughs> Where we haven't seen many people. No. They must have really pulled ahead. Kill me, one I finished stage one and I was super happy, but man, at what cost? My ass was dead. In the evening, we had a Q&A with some Canyon athletes who made a film about body positivity in cycling. It was really sick. Oh man, the start of day two was hectic. I missed the start because one, I lost my number board, and two, I lost my cleat and I was panicking. I was trying to do up someone's spare cleat that they gave me onto my shoe, and I could hear the announcer going 10, 9, 8, and I was like, oh no, I'm gonna be late, everyone's gonna be ruined. But luckily, when I got to the start, two girls waited for me and we set up together. Honestly, the double padded on the shorts is working like a dream. <laughs> I am fully cushioned now. Stage two was called the Clattering Shores. It was about 80k and it's probably the longest I've ever been on my bike. And it was probably the most beautiful route I've ever done. I took it really chill this time because my ass was in so much pain from cycling yesterday and I made it back and I was really happy. The Canyon team made me feel very welcome and they were so friendly and had a great evening with them, played games, had pizza, had dinner with them, listened to live music, it was very very cool. I honestly don't know what I'm talking about here but I had a vivid memory of going on for about three minutes about how Lidl would be the best dream sponsor and I love Lidl bike products because my backpack is from Lidl. <laughs> Okay, we're heading to the last stage, the last day, and I was honestly exhausted. The final stage was called the Scarrow Road and it was just under 70k and I was just trugging along. I was dead on my feet and so many people passed me and I luckily didn't come last but I was close to it. I got some really good footage from the camera crew that were there and I was just so happy and I looked super cool.
finished. I'm so relieved. I was so exhausted. I think I slept for like a whole week after this. My body was in shambles. I couldn't sit on a bike for like at least four days. <laughs> How did the grail treat you? You're right. Yeah, it's really good, yeah? yeah. Yes. It's absolutely yeah, perfect. I'm good. Very good. Oh, that's nice. Let's try again. Lovely. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> that's it that's me all done i got my participation medal and that's probably the longest i've ever been on a bike in such a short span of time oh man what a sick weekend i am so amazed at this event i've never tried anything like this and i'm so happy that i could do all the stages and um i want to thank canyon for offering to take me along and thank you to the canyon people that were there who were really amazing and made me feel at home so i would definitely do this event again who knows i might be a converted gravel biker now <laughs> no more downhill for me anyway thank you and goodbye <laughs>